Hi folks, today's tutorial is going to talk about setting up a shape in Inkscape with some specifics related to cutting that shape on an epilogue laser. Let's get started. So I've got a blank document in Inkscape. I'm going to grab a rectangle from the left hand menu and click and drag it. Now yours may very well default to being filled like this. If so, if you get a shape like this and you don't want it to have a fill color, it's easy to fix. Here we go. I'm going to go up to Object, Fill and Stroke, and the Fill and Stroke menu will open on the right side of Inkscape. Looking at the Fill tab, I'm going to click on the X to remove the fill. Now there is no fill color and it is empty, it is transparent. I will switch to stroke paint and make sure that it has a color. If we are working on an epilogue laser cutter for this basic introduction, I'd like you to make sure that the color is black. Don't adjust the color in any way. Then we switch over to stroke style. And I need to make sure that the measurement is set to inches and that the width is one thousandths of an inch, 0 .001. This is a blog laser specific so that the edge of my shape will be cut. Now a couple of details here. First, if you wish to have a rounded corner on your cut line, watch. So I have the selection arrow from the top left hand menu. I'm going to click once click once and then click double click until I get a circle in the top right hand corner and this is totally cool. As I click and drag it rounds off each of the four corners equally which just makes life so amazingly pleasant. So now that we've got our cut line established at one thousandths of an inch we have the dimensions of our shape that we want. Don't resize the shape doing so can throw off the width of the cut line. So once you have it set to one thousandths of an inch, leave it alone. Thanks for watching. Any questions, drop them in the comments below and have a great day.